Hello there everyone, it is Mitsu here and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Today we are going to analyze Xavi Hernandez. So I'm sure you guys know how these player analysis work by now. I've divided the video into several topics to focus on each point by itself. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Also called the shoulder checking, it's the number one thing to do to improve your positional awareness. I chose this to be the first topic in this video because it's basically the key which helps him pretty much perform every other topic that we are going to talk about today, from passing the ball and controlling it under pressure to playing unexpected passes. Anyway, I've made a full video about this topic, you can find the link to that video in the description. He was very good in applying this, whether he's going to get the ball back or not. Once he noticed the space behind him, he immediately passed it in order to move to that space and speed up the attack. Whenever he wasn't under pressure, whenever the opposition gave him a little bit of space, he would play this deep long pass to one of the sides. All he needs is a run behind the defense to deliver these slope through passes and give the one-on-one -on -one opportunities to his teammates. Playing a backward pass is always his last option. His aim was always to move the team forward and increase the pace of the attacks. You can also see how he uses his first touch and direct it towards the wrong way, then play the unexpected pass. This can also be counted in the forward passes section, but he used to play a lot of passes between the midfield and defensive lines. Generally while building up the attack, you need to break the midfield line of the opposition first, then break the defensive line. If you want to do that quickly, you can move to the long passing option, and we have already shown examples of that. I had to clarify that whenever he couldn't find options, he gave himself more time to scan the pitch, wait for forward runs and then play the pass. This is actually very effective, basically he keeps the ball under his feet and looks the other way, when he is supposed to play the obvious pass. This slows down the opposition as he approaches his teammates. He also uses it to play unexpected passes as you can see here. By taking his full time on the ball, he got rid of the pressure as you can see here, gave enough time for his teammate to position himself for the long pass, and even gave more time for himself to scan the pitch and acknowledge his teammates positions. Sometimes he just dribbles into the space himself when the pressure is aggressive as you can see here. Yes, the transition was quick, but that's what you need to become a complete footballer. When the rhythm is high and the team needs to play quick football, he can do that pretty well. He was also one of the main segments in all these triangles that you can see in Barcelona's playstyle back then.
The main idea behind his style of keeping the ball under pressure is keeping the ball pretty close to his feet. Whenever the opposition is pressing from the back, he would do this turn, which is kinda his signature move. His communication with his teammates was pretty obvious. He always provided heads up and helped his teammates in positioning while building up the attacks. And that's basically what makes a good captain, the effect he has on his side. He played a big role in building up the attacks. Whenever the team is pressed high up the pitch, he dropped down to receive the ball from the center backs. Due to his perfect positional awareness, he always positions himself where he can receive the ball from his teammates. So he gets the space outside the box as you can see here, and fires some shots from there as well. As he is distributing the balls from the midfield, he gets forward in the space that he eventually creates by passing the ball to the side. He also used to take the advantage from the space left on top, as Barcelona didn't have a traditional number 9 back then. Here you can see him filling the space left behind, as his teammate grabbed the attention of the defenders. Again, just filling the space that is left missing in the forward line and providing the passing option. As his teammates are pulling their markers away, he gets the advantage from the space left behind. That's one of his strengths for sure, either by shooting them directly or providing the assist. So that was it guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.